You are watching Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Busley, the Mile Eye Mouth, and today we're going to be unboxing this. This is the uh, 8-bit dough SFC30 gamepad from uh, 8-bit dough. It's um, a 30th anniversary gamepad edition with retro design, same touch, same feeling. Dual mode support, Bluetooth keyboard, and touchscreen simulation. Support both Bluetooth and USB connection. Built in 480 mAh lithium ion battery. Firmware is upgradable. Um, it pretty much like it's got pro programmable keys if you're using that with uh, with the um, with Windows or Mac. And a classic cross button and two button shoulder button design. Two shoulder button design. It's a I picked it up because this actually, if you update it, you can actually use this on the Nintendo Switch. Let's go ahead and see what's in it. There we go. Okay, right off the bat, there's really no uh, packaging that keeps this, you know, in. But yeah, uh, right off the bat, you're going to need to um, see this little, this little thing right here, this USB mini right here. You're going to need to hook it up to your computer and download a driver to update it to the current firmware for the Nintendo Switch. And when you're in when you do that with with after you've done that, when you go to use this on the Nintendo Switch, you have to hit Y and start at the same time to turn on and this will blink. And then hit select to be in pairing mode, then L and R. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and see what else is in this package. There's a little bit of a foam over here. Which keeps it nice and secure. And then we have a little thing over here. Let's just move that up. Here is a instructions for it in English. Or no, these instructions are not in English. For some bizarre reason, these instructions are entirely in. Uh, yeah, they show off the original thing. Was start, start plus B, start plus A, start plus X, and they added start plus Y for the switch. Um, obviously, if you're going to be using this with the Nintendo Switch, you do not have access to ZL, ZL, ZR, and the, the joist, the other sticks. This works like a left, um, the, the left uh, control stick. And if you want to hit the home button, you have to hit select and down at the same time. But yes, ah, let's see what else is in here. Now, this is interesting. Over here we have... Oh, there we go. It looks to be a a little keychain that says FC30. Everything old is new again. And then a charging cable for it. Although any cable with like, I think it's mini or micro USB will work. That is what comes in this box. Instruction manual, a keychain, and that. This will work with the... Um, this thing will work with with your iOS or gr Chrome device. Oh, sorry, Google Chrome and uh, or Android. Yeah, it'll work with all of those and Windows and your PC. But it'll also now work with the Switch. In fact, I've been playing quite a few different games with it. Uh, this is the second one we got, mainly because. Well, to be perfectly honest, this is a fantastic way to check out Puyo Puyo Tetris, or Ultra Street Fighter 2, or I Am Setsuna, or um, Graceful Explosion Machine, or any number of games which don't use all of the buttons on the Nintendo Switch. So, like, so th th this of course does not have rumble, but games like Shovel Knight work pretty well with this. Blaster Master Zero. Things that don't require the Z3, sorry, the L3 or R3 buttons, or the ZR or ZL buttons. As long as you can use the left stick and the XBYA stuff. This will be interesting once uh, more virtual console stuff comes out for the system. Especially considering that once Super Nintendo Virtual Console comes out, these will be amazing for that. Also, they work pretty well with the... Uh, with the Neo Geo pockets, sorry, the Neo Geo stuff that's out there, because you know you've got A, B, C, D on that, and of course a D-pad. 
Not the most optimal setup with those because you kind of want a fight stick for those, but excellent nonetheless. But yeah, that's what you get for about 30 bucks in store. They do sell one with American colors with like the little light purple and dark purple, but these are better looking and more, um, I guess the best way to would say is appropriate. But make sure the first thing you do before you try and use it on the Switch is to hook this up to a PC and go to BitDo's website and download the latest firmware. With the latest firmware, I think it's like 4.0 or higher, you'll be able to connect it to the Nintendo Switch. Overall, pretty neat de device. I like it. I've been playing around with this for a while. I really, It really feels great with uh, Street Fighter to be doing the moves with that. Um, it does have some... This is more digital than... like um, I, I would say, actually, it has a little bit of issue sometimes with diagonals, but I don't remember diagonals being really good on the uh, Super Nintendo either. But uh, yeah, with stuff with Metal, Gear, Metal Slug... Metal Gear Slug. No, Metal Slug. It's not. It's um. It's a little iffy, but you'll get used to it. Once you figure out that sweet spot, you'll be fine. Overall, pretty good stuff. Tested it on a bunch of games. Works out pretty well. And uh, this is what you get in the box. It's got a pretty good battery life. I haven't had to uh, actually charge it in a while, and that's pretty good. Overall. What do you think of this? Let me know in the comments below. Have you picked one of these up yet? Do you have a Nintendo Switch? Are you thinking of picking one of these up? They also come in Famicom styles and then a version that's the uh, Famicom style and the NES style but with like two sticks right here so it's similar to the classic controller and that one also has ZL and ZR. While that one has more buttons, it's missing the third buttons that the uh, Pro Controller has. It's missing HD rumble and it's missing, missing motion controls. In fact, that one's about 40, so it's about a little less than half the price of a uh, um, of a pro controller. But if you can track down a pro controller, I would suggest that over that one. If you're looking for something a little bit more stylized, these are the perfect ones. And then of course there's the NES style one, which is NES markings, but for some reason has A, B, X, and Y. So it's got and the L and R buttons. That one's like exactly like this one, but NES shaped. Like a little rectangle. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of these. Um, hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that share button if you haven't already. And make sure that you ring that bell so that you are notified whenever we have a brand new video. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.